Here Yo has a monk bringing a relic back to his monastery, and... The monk just dies out of nowhere! Oh man, wasn't that awesome? But uh, why did this happen? Well, we need to take a step back. The monk starts with 30 HP, then he picks up the relic and becomes a monk with relic. Monks and monks with relics are two separate units, and the game swaps between them. Next, your research is fervor, he's the Aztecs, so he gains plus 5 for every monastery tech. The monk increases from 30 out of 30 to 35 out of 35. Next come to Light Cav, they attack the monk, wounding him down to 1 out of 35. Now your research is Sanctity, setting the monk to 1 out of 55 HP. But is that number really 1? Normally when a unit receives an HP upgrade, it maintains the same overall percentage of hit points. For example, if a unit has 25 out of 50 HP, then a tech gives it plus 50, it would end up with 50 out of 100. Both hit point and damage values are calculated using floating point numbers, they can have decimals and fractions, and are not limited to the integers. Here we have an archer inflicting 1.25 damage per arrow to a skirmisher. The interface truncates the HP value to display it, but behind the scenes it is stored as a float. The display jumps in increments of either 1 or 2 because of the rounding. So with that in mind, we might expect this monk to get sanctity and then go from 1 out of 35 to approximately 1.57 out of 55. But what's that? Oh, it turns out there's a hidden video inside of this video called Bloodlines is a freaking scam. Here we have a knight with 10 attack on top of a hill and a knight with 3 armor at the bottom. With the hill bonus, it's a total of 8.75 damage per hit. The HP of the bottom knight goes from 100 to 91, but it's really 91.25. Now we'll delete this outpost over here to research bloodlines, and... Okay, it shows 109 HP. This should really be 109.5 behind the scenes if we work our math out properly, but... Uh, oh no! The values don't match up! Turns out, when we researched bloodlines, the HP was truncated. We were scammed out of 0.5 HP getting only 109 instead of 109.5. As a side note, if we instead research a unit upgrade such as Knight to Cavalier, then the fractional part is maintained. It's just these dedicated HP upgrades that truncate the HP values. Now when we go back to this monk, he does not have 1.57 HP. Oh no, he has exactly 1 HP. Recall that if we convert a villager with loom, but we don't have loom, the villager can die when switching tasks because it drops below 1 HP. But this monk here, he should stay exactly at 1 out of 55 HP, shouldn't he? Shouldn't he? Well, the game is not open source, so unfortunately I don't have the exact code for the calculation, but I do have the inputs and the outputs, thanks to the Capture Age team being able to look at the exact floating point numbers. So this monk goes from having 1 out of 55 HP on the frame just before his death to having 0.999999943953552 HP after the unit swap finishes. Floating point numbers are often not as precise as we'd like them to be, and this very peculiar representation error produces a value that is ever so slightly less than 1. And because it's less than 1, the game kills the monk! Now this seems to happen only at 1 out of 55 HP. I tested every possible Aztec HP value from 1 out of 30 up to 1 out of 95. The monk dies at 1 out of 55, and only at 1 out of 55. Aztec monks can get this value because of their HP bonus, but so can Bohemian villagers. With Loom and Sanctity, they get 55 HP, and if we happen to have Bohemian villagers at 1 out of 55, and we switch tasks, they die too! <laughs> anyway, that's it for now. Thank you all very much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Oh.